அது ஒண்ணுதான் Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Lakshmi, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Daisy, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, ma'am, shall we How start? You, ma How are you, ma'am? I'm glad, well and good, ma'am. How about you, ma'am? Yeah, fine, ma'am. Ma'am, still students yet to come, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, what, uh, that's what here I announced, uh, ma'am, in the, in the same. Session starts once okay. the participant count reaches okay. 28. Is that okay, ma'am? Shall we okay, start okay, with five minutes? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine. Ma okay, ma'am. Okay, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. audio sabarish students please listen mute your audio and video while class starts okay
Shiva is not a uh, pro, uh, class has not yet started. Please wait for others uh, participate. Shiva, I haven't started yet. I'm waiting for the participants count up to 28. I was away from my laptop also. Just now I came to my laptop. Why uh, other members haven't joined? Uh, will they come? Shall we wait? AC, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, uh, three, five, you start, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. In the WhatsApp group, uh, mm -hmm. they'll be coming, ma'am. Ah, uh, the Mm -hmm. Daily also they will be joining by 3-5 only, ma'am. We will okay. start by the time. Uh, okay. Till then we will wait, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Okay. Ma'am, Satibama ma'am would be joining today? Uh, in between, she, she, yeah, she yeah. said she Yeah, she joined. she joined, ma'am. She okay. joined. Okay. Just okay. to make uh, her as a co-host only ask. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, guys, my set target is reached. Let us start slowly. Let us resume to the um, session. Yeah, welcome you all to the day three session. Uh, this is what your syllabus I got for this workshop. So SPSS, social uh, statistics packages for social sciences. That is the meaning, statistical packages. Actually, this SPSS, I was having the licensed version one given by IBM. Uh, that I'm searching for. Today, I may find it from my external hard drive. If I get it, I will give you and I will show some demonstration also. If not, I cannot guarantee because we all code us. We do Python coding, R programming, in MATLAB, any language we used to have, we are habituated to work with the coding. So if possible, I'll give. Otherwise, I'm going to show you one online calculator. This calculator has everything like SPSS. 
So using this, it is possible for us to calculate any of the statistical measure. So there are calculators alternatively, or coding, or Excel. So either one way, you will be guided through this workshop to carry forward. Yeah, uh, this one, the moment I find it, then I will give you. <clears throat> now slowly, we step into uh, 5.1. This is what our topic is. So I am not uh, responsible for that. Next is, we are stepping into mean, mode, median. This is what we discussed. What is mean? Maybe technical terminology. It's after all average. What is average? I have five chocolate. You have seven chocolate. My friend has eight chocolate. Then what is the average? We need to add whatever the chocolates available with all the three member divided by three. That's all. Sum of every count divided by n. That is a formula for mean. So that mean gives approximately the holistic picture. An and average, how many chocolate we have, that an and average. So that is a meaning. Median mode. This is what we discussed. Again, we revisit today. Then we come back to standard deviation. This standard deviation, when it will be useful. That we should be able to understand first. When to use, what to use, why to use. This question, if we know answer, only then we can implement these kind of statistical packages on the given data set. Until then, it is very tough. So let us see one by one, slow and steadily, I will work on. Then we can go to Excel also. Then we can uh, work on one by one. Then I will give you the comparative study. When you will learn much more better is, when we discuss standard deviation, you will learn much more about mean. <clears throat> when we go to the higher level of the statistical uh, syllabus, say for next for you, it is given Carl Pearson correlation test. Next student's test. Next chi-square test. Next ANOVA test. That's all your uh, statistical, nothing more. It's very simplest. So next is, this is writing different uh, genres of writing reports. These are all yours, but these two I'm not going to touch upon. So just I'll support you. What are the way writing tool you can use for, uh, what to say, fixing uh, bugs, spell error or grammatical error. Already we have seen with respect to this Google Doc. Google Doc is bit powerful for uh, spelling and grammar check. Even punctuation it does. Grammar it checks. Spelling it checks and punctuations. Comma, these all it gives. Punctuation, it will be helpful. P-U-N-C. Mm. These are all the three things we have seen in the earlier class with the Google Doc. Subsequently, we will be looking at a few more tools as well. So now I will change the slide temporarily. As per your syllabus today, I'm working through. We'll go to the slide first, or the return of the slide, where in which we will continue some of the foundations. Okay, already we have completed what is statistics. Within that statistics, there are two types, descriptive, inferential. What is descriptive statistics? Descriptive statistics always will work on only for that particular data set. Suppose your classroom, your mark, your class mark, I'm analyzing, I'm writing a report, then I can use descriptive statistics. Inferential, I can analyze about your class, then I can generalize about your institution or at least MSW course. So that is from the sample, sample is considered from the sample analysis, something is taken decision to the entire population is inferential statistics. So this is suitable for either population or sample, that is fine. But we don't generalize, whereas this with the inferential statistics, we will generalize. There are two tests, again, two types inferential, estimation, <laughs> hypothesis. 
point estimation what is point estimation is mean mode median these all fall into point estimation interval estimation that is called confidence interval estimation that is bit higher pedestrian i'll be addressing the moment we step into t test anova those situation we can understand this much more better if not also let us postpone little bit later then we will take point estimation is the best example is mean mode median interval estimation i will give you a fair idea why i need to put you in the black box what is interval estimation is suppose i am asking you <clears throat> what is the probability of each one of you getting 100 out of 100 in this subject i may ask one of you i pick some roll number say for example roll number 10 i am picking you i am questioning you what is the probability of getting 100 out of 100 i will ask you you may say 100% i am sure madam i will get 100 out of 100 you will tell 50% i am confident 70% i am confident that i will get 100 so because exam is not at a written you don't know what type of question paper would be you don't know whether you will forget something or you will remember by the time of examination nothing you know so naturally you will be uh, having lesser confidence lesser confidence understand those who are more concrete more versatile with the statistics uh, more confidence only they can say 100% i will get good marks similarly in the statistical world we are trying to generalize from sampling to population you would have noticed pfizer pfizer is a pharmaceutical company they have brought vaccination covid vaccination they say 95% it cures how they say 95% have you thought of it using statistics they are telling how that statistics they will be telling is they will collect the data patient 1 patient 2 patient 3 whom ever they have injected or person 1 person 2 person 3 they will have several readings then they will expose that person to the covid person they will make that person to interact with the covid affected person so they will have some readings some data they will generate from the data they will analyze and they will take conclusion by the time there are confidence levels available in the statistics 99% confidence 90% confidence 95% confidence famous confidence interval i am telling then 80% confidence you can set anything even 85% confidence levels also you can set so in general in the statistical world never they will tell 100% confidence because it is statistics today it may happen tomorrow we don't know the situation we all thought that everything will go normal all of a sudden this lockdown have come unexpected situation unprecedented situation so by the time we cannot statistically take conclusion or decision 100% so they seen to the upper limit 99% across the globe among all the statistician 95% confidence interval only they will consider that is the reason they are telling they would have got very good results for the 95% confidence interval that is the reason they are telling 95% this particular medicine will work perfectly so there is a statistics associated with that so that is called interval estimation going with confidence interval statistics they say that ci short form ci confidence interval they used to call so you can use anything you either you can use confidence interval the name itself or you can use ci also so using this only people are finding out all the statistical report or analysis that's all this is the story behind this categorization of statistics in general broadly statistics is classified into two descriptive 
inferential. What is the use of descriptive is? It is useful for summarization. It is useful for describing, description. I say, describe about you. You will be describing about all your attitude. That is description. Summarization. Say about your MSW experience. You will summarize. You will not tell each and every problem. You may would have, you would have faced a problem with your friends. You would have faced a problem with your faculty. That and all not. In general, you will tell three sentences. Yes, madam, this institution is good. My faculty members are cooperative. Something like that you will summarize. So here it is related to summarization description. So this descriptive analysis can be done with the pictures, graphs, figures also. That is called visualization, data visualization. It is involved with analysis of numeric data also. The best example for analysis of numeric is mean, mode, media, triple M. So otherwise, histogram, pictorially you can represent. You can represent through graphs. You can represent through figures. So these are the possible ways you can work on descriptive statistics. We will look at with example, nothing to worry. Next, inferential statistics. Whenever study patterns, randomness, uncertainty in the data, then we need to go for inferential statistics. This is used for drawing the inference about the process or population being studied. So finally, we need to draw the inference from the sample that we need to equate to the population. So I can understand about your class or your uh, study behavior, your IQ level, then from that I can generalize your institution. <clears throat> Statistically, even human also, we are knowingly, unknowingly, we are all using statistics. See, if you are uh, understanding about my institution student's behavior, one year student's behavior, then can't you generalize about my institution student's behavior? Yes, it is possible. But you don't do calculation. Behaviorally, you will be understanding. Similar way, statistics also helpful for understanding from the sample to the population. This is useful for making conclusion and future predictions. This inferential statistics. COVID test they are doing now. They need to finally conclude whether that medicine is working perfectly or not. Then prediction about the future trend also. These are all the use or applications of inferential statistics. Whenever you come to inferential statistics in your syllabus, students T distribution, ANOVA distribution, and in your syllabus, it is not given linear regression, these all are those stuff, even correlation. These are all the stuff related to inferential statistics in your syllabus. In your syllabus, mean the triple M and one standard deviation, ESD. These four are related to descriptive statistics. That's all. These four you remember fall under descriptive statistics. Remaining part of your syllabus fall under inferential statistics. That's it. This one clue I'm giving, even examination, you can write this point. Because your syllabus has this much only. In that, the first four measure, mean, mode, median, and standard deviation, fall into descriptive statistics. Rest all whatever available in your syllabus, you need to categorize it into in inference statistics. The moment you go for inferential statistics, confidence interval, CI, will play a role. Close your eyes. Blindly start using 95% confidence interval. That's it. No, nothing more you need to worry because your social science end you are working. It is not so precisely you need to calculate because scientific engineering in science and engineering, we are all expected to produce 100% accuracy or precision. So we need to worry a lot. For your social science perspective, 95% confidence interval itself more than sufficient. So you fix that you learn relevant to that alone. Otherwise, it becomes ocean. Okay. Now, let us move on to the next slide. Look at here. This is not record for you. Next, descriptive statistics. 
what and all you can do descriptive statistics measures of central tendency that three then dispersion range interquartile range there are few stuff let us see next inferential statistics estimation hypothesis testing two things or else you can use graphical analysis graphical tool the same redundancy the previous slide if you could have understood this is not required it is no need to confuse yourself now again we are revisiting mean mean is the easiest metric <clears throat> yesterday with the excel we have seen sum that the column sum row sum the same answer if you divide by n that's all mean nothing more so we will look at in excel also median median is used to find out the middle value that will show exactly half of your class students are performing that median value above the remaining half of your students performing less than the median value that median immediately signifies whether your class students are good performer or poor performer so if your median value is 70 imagine 50% of you more than 70 50% of you only less than 70 then how fantastic class class students imagine if your median value is 35 that shows very poor quality 50% of you fall less than 35 marks 50% of you fall greater than 35 mark if your median value is 50 yes decent pretty good 50% of your class students fall less than 50 50% of your class students fall above 50 <coughs> that is the inference we can take out of median what is more frequency count in a class how many of you are getting 50 mark how many of you are getting 70 72 73 so every mark how many are there so tie we used to tell now first rank there are two people will come same total they will get two people will get a first mark similarly three people may get second mark so that all we used to tell tie you now that only we are calling scientifically more <coughs> look at here mean what is a typical student in the class doing how your class performance with respect to so statistics let us take for example or any one subject you may have community medicine subject or rural um, community or urban community something you will have no that kind of subject let us imagine so for that i want to understand how your class performance for that we can use mean value to compare performance of any single student against the group median that is what i said if i come to know median then i can compare with respect to your class whether you are performing good or bad your median is 70 then you are you are telling that your value is 65 from that easily i can able to identify in which level of uh, position you are Uh, placed among your classroom so that is the median next a parent wanting to know whether their child better or worse than typical child at his grade level comparing someone one child with another child mode will be helpful so how many of them have got 50 so through in which they can able to compare uniqueness how many uniqueness are there in this class something like that some scenario i am bringing for you to understand better <clears throat> now let like, let us move to another scenario when mean median mode will be useful look at you may be the person you are traveling daily from home to office some distance between your home to office there are three method you can travel one you can travel by auto one you can travel by office transport one you can travel by your own transport so what you are doing you are new to that office so 10 15 days you want to travel then you want to take conclusion statistically how you can take conclusion what way you need to travel in the near future or you want to recommend to your one of your friend nearby your home then you need to record the time taken number of hours or kilometer whatever may be the number of kilometer or time taken you need to observe you need to note it down then office transport you need to note it down personal vehicle you need to note it down 
then you just calculate mean what is the problem look at this scenario 999 you can't take any decision in this scenario suppose if it is not 999 different values um three different value now i will ask you question for example you are try uh, forget about this don't come back so you are traveling by auto you are traveling by office transport you are traveling by personal car a personal vehicle two wheeler whatever so that i am calculating mean statistically mean is represented with a mu mean value so let let us say for example 7 6 8 which one you need to prefer tell me this is mean value i have calculated by recording every day number of hours it takes for me number of minutes or number of kilometer whatever don't worry about the unit somehow i am getting this number 7 6 8 this is auto this is office transport this is personal vehicle you need to answer to me now no excuse you need to tell me right or wrong you need to tell without thinking you can't learn statistics you need to think see auto office transport own car these three some more this data i am recording so i am calculating mean the calculated mean value is 768 which is the best way to travel which method is best way should i go by auto or should i go by office transport or should i go by personal vehicle this is the first step you need to answer <clears throat> by this time you would have replied no one even initiated come on guys again i need to start roll call vishwa vinod Shanti Agapan, Shivalakshmi, Shiva, Deepika, Kalivani, Jay Sri, Pula Julesh, Padmini, Nancy. Personal. Okay. One answer have come. Personal. How about others? <coughs> you need to reply otherwise it is very difficult for me to cope uh, drive the session definitely i'll be feeling irritated so there is no point of articulating to you guys no every day investing 2 and 1/2 hours good or uh, wrong it is not your botheration you need to answer right or wrong is secondary that is where i am available to correct you i will pinpoint your name you need to answer akalya you need to answer otherwise i will remove from the session there is no point of keeping you akalya alvin i am bit serious i'll remove you from the session i have the control from the zoom i will remove you i won't admit you then akali are you there respond to me alvin ma'am amsha armuga priya nobody is answering Daisy, ma'am, Sadiba, ma'am. What should I do? Shall I throw them away? Faculty also not there. Arun, Samuel, Asha, Basil, Sevier. Ma'am, I am here, ma'am. Ma'am, only one Shiva is. But I. Answer. nobody else is answering i am just asking the question whether right or wrong i am not asking they need to answer but it is not happening i am observing ma'am i am observing everything yeah <laughs> what should i do shall i remove them amshia shall i remove you from the session amshia please open your mouth 
okay you can give the answer you don't know you said sorry ma'am i not understand or something else you can tell them yeah here the question you can tell. is no understanding anyhow you have to give answer yeah. some answer you should give na i am giving three scenario you need to give the answer hello ma'am sia agalya please give the answer ma if you don't know you say the madam see if you go to real time internship this, that would be much more tougher i'm just asking one question you guys are not answering then i don't issue certificate that's all mm -hmm. the person who is interactive will uh, issue a certificate armuga priya i am call call several times i'm doing nobody is bothered neither the use says or... has some network issue ma'am all the times ma'am even they can use chat window no they can use a o p that's all na okay somebody is telling financial you never can give I the use... answer ma never i use financial at all vishwa what is the meaning of financial i said that auto office transport own car which is the best method based on the mean value is the question now they didn't listen ma'am they they don't know even context there that is the gadget thing. yeah gadget only attending it is very clear they are not able to understand what is the question i asked also eight someone is giving eight that's fine now only they are coming forward after this much of stress level creation only they are coming forward only three answers have come right or wrong i will tell later right now three answers only have come how about others i don't know yeah somebody is telling personal uh, please all of you give your answer within five, five two minutes yeah that is best ma'am within 2 minutes all of you give your answer if you are in online you have to give the answer only gadget the right or wrong yeah right, right. giving teach chart chart your box chart box you have to give the answer everybody guiding you only here i am but you need to be interactive na without making you to think you can't understand statistics oh. satya ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Daisy, ma'am, are you there, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. There yes, is an issue. No, Students no, not listening at all. Okay, ma'am. Just now I'm. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, okay ma'am. Ma Students not giving even single answer to them. So, ma'am, ma called me. Not, uh, many of them have not uh, joined here. Yeah, someone gave short to. Yeah. Uh, uh, as per voting, one office has come. one auto has come more personal has come maybe four i can say four so this is what one more guy is telling personal so five five answers have come for personal so every day chat history is recorded every day then that i will hand over to your coordinators or faculty member let them take decision whether to be given Uh, certificate for you guys, other guys are not based on chart history. So these are it today. So if you are uh, continuing this tendency, uh, I'm so sorry. I cannot uh, appreciate just by giving how much certificate and all. So look at understand clearly. Um, yeah, um, listen carefully. See, these are all. It may be a fair. it may be a cost involved traveling from home to office let it be whatever it is a mileage or it may be number of hours that is not our bothersome understand the meaning of mean statistically you need to calculate mean what is mean simply you need to do summation of each and every value given to you then divided by the number of values n you need to divide by n that's all this is called sum of x i divided by n this is the formula when you look at formula you may be afraid but simply it is doing sum of all number in that case 
imagine th this scenario is different scenario i am giving 7 6 8 which is most effective method is the question which is most effective method is always the lesser mean value understand whatsoever may be your answer this is the right answer going by office vehicle is better because an and average the mean value given is 6 rest all highest mean value especially going by personal vehicle we should not prefer at all i said cost involved or you can consider mileage involved kilometer or you can consider number of hours involved i said all the three are expensive now ticket cost is also expensive number of kilometers also expensive time is also expensive understand through common sense first so these three are expensive will you prefer no so this is highest never ever we should prefer this mode of travel next highest is this we should not prefer then which one we should prefer going by office transport six got the point now now imagine one more scenario i will tell msw first year msw second year your total mark or your grade point your grade i am having some more your total or percentage something so i'm finding a mean of first year and second year the mean value is 75 the mean value is 85 imagine the scenario has been changed please be careful here mean value of your marks total grade here 75 for first year 85 for second year which class is better performing your second answer. year ma'am second year ma'am second year fine fantastic that's all so mean blindly you should not take conclusion it is depending upon the scenario in this case i want to appreciate which class is better second year students are better because their class mean value is 85 in the earlier scenario it is different because it is involved cost i need to travel either mileage or effort or money involved so that's all so hope so you would have understood now let us move on to the next scenario this is little bit tricky then look at here i am finding mean all are becoming same value what can i do i can't do anything okay next there is another option available median i want to find out that is also nine there is another option available more that is also nine what to do there are circumstances situations will come like this so for that what to do is the question now we are giving answer for this scenario that is where measures of dispersion comes today i supposed to introduce standard deviation now then you should understand why we are giving importance for standard deviation for that only i am investing this much time for the transition so range mean deviation standard deviation variance these all are called as measures of dispersion you have measures of central tendency underneath you discuss mean mode median now measures of dispersion underneath only standard deviation comes into the picture so you have the syllabus standard deviation so now look at here what is standard deviation visually i'm going to make you to understand better what is it try to understand this is called normal distribution normal distribution what is the meaning normal distribution is say for example five students of your mark your classroom imagine one class the class has only five students so that five students mark i am collecting student number one 80 marks 
student number 2 45 marks student number 3 maybe 60 52 marks student number 4 maybe 30 marks student number 5 maybe 28 marks something like this i need to plot how i can plot is i can consider x axis y axis student number 1 2 3 4 5 mark 10 interval 20 30 40 up to 100 marks this is y axis technically it is called y axis technically it is called x axis then i need to plot one have got 80 i need to plot here two have got 45 i need to plot here three have got 52 i need to plot here something like this i need to a plot this is called data distribution so if we look at there are point distributor like this it is taking bell curve or gaussian distribution technically this is called gaussian distribution or bell curve hope so you have understood this scenario so this curve if we look at broader width then standard deviation is more look at here which color this blue color has that width with the spread spread of the curve is more wider now standard deviation is more for this highest highest entity next look at green color this green has next highest distribution next this purple color next this pink color this is the lesser standard deviation visually i am making you to understand so visual interpretation this is called mean this peak of the curve is called mean this is normal distribution why we need to understand normal distribution is it is not given in your syllabus but all the statistical packages working on the principle called normally distributed data even anova most of the statistical packages working on the principle underlying assumption called data must be normally distributed whenever it takes this bell curve bell shape curve then it is called normally distributed formula for standard deviation is xi minus mu divided by n the numerator whole square square root you may feel very tough especially social science guys for us this is very simplest formula so i will make you to understand through data don't worry right now so this is standard deviation step by step we are going to calculate in excel sheet standard deviation subsequently so but you i am introducing how standard deviation is helpful whenever mean mode median fails to give the interpretation conclusion we need to go for standard deviation that is one scenario there is another scenario will come i will show you that scenario this slide especially the question and answer session slide this is where i was asking you question here mean mode median failed to express to take decision to conclude it has failed that is the reason we are going for standard deviation there are another reasons also that i will tell you now what is standard deviation look at here mean mode median has same value 999 next to using that previously shown formula standard deviation is calculated forget about variance and all only standard deviation is your syllabus we need to rely on this when you look at standard deviation 3.0 004.9 what that signifies is consistency if you look at by looking at the data itself you can understand see going by car you can reach in one hour also you can reach by 17 hours also lot of variance is come 
if you are lucky you will reach office by within one hour if you are not lucky you will reach office by uh, what to say 17 hours one minute someone is trying to annul it okay you may reach office will by 17 hours so there is lot of inconsistency what is a inconsistency you can't predict what is the thing will happen maybe due to traffic also heavy traffic may come in this way if you look at here the standard deviation is bit lesser 3 if you look at here standard deviation is 0 absolutely perfect all the day you can go by office vehicle from home to office exactly 9 hours no traffic no problem it is having consistency rhythm these are all captured by standard deviation understand the beauty of mathematics so why we need to do by looking at the data itself you can take conclusion that is fine but if your data is 100 1000 2000 manually you cannot take conclusion your eyes only will get spoiled looking at the data like this statistically only you can take decision when the data becomes huge when the data is lesser manually through common sense anyone can take decision but data is huge you need to apply statistics but for understanding you need to go for lesser amount of data that's it hope so you would be understand in this scenario it is clearly demonstrated by the standard deviation that going by office transport is the best advisable solution because it is taking all the day nine forget about this all visible for us even it is visible or not visible also if you find a standard deviation the lowest deviation whichever gives that only you need to find consider now i ask question through in which only i can understand whether you captured what i am telling or not msw first year msw second year please be careful i'm talking about your own class only msw first year msw second year you have got 75% class average i mean to say or uh, class average let us take for example class average mean mean msw have got 74 or you can imagine second year also have got 75 now how can i conclude is it possible for me to conclude which class is better can i say both are equal second year students third year first year students are equal to each other there is no big difference between these two classes based on this mean value since the mean value have come 75 75 what i supposed to do give your answer i collected from your faculty the class mark of second year third first year on particular subject let us say for example i am taking average or mean <coughs> it gives me 75 75 how can i conclude which class is better who is doing better give me the answer oh, you are the best that is fine don't blindly talk like a statistically talk don't make fun of it please vinod don't make fun of it statistically talk don't be silly i'm asking you with the scenario second year ma'am how do you say akalya second year is best how do you say <coughs> for understanding point of view i have taken ms double doesn't mean that you can make fun how do you say see both are given same mean value 75 75 what should i do how can i conclude which ridiculous answer people are telling see syllabus may be different very very ridiculous 
calculate the number of high marks and compare. This is one shortcut. This is not statistics, some kind of tactics. Shiva is telling, calculate the number of high marks and compare. That is a kind of tactics, not a statistics. So far now, I have articulated more than 20 minutes. What is standard deviation? After that also, you are not able to tell. Very pathetic. Statistically, both of your class average mark is 75-75. Definitely, this cannot give me any answer to conclude which class is best. That is for sure. What is supposed to do only I'm asking. Straight answer. This is the slide related to standard deviation. Nobody fit enough to give answer. I'm so sorry. And how can I go to higher level of statistics who are not capturing or making fun of it? See, this is the topic I'm addressing. This is different scenario, office transport. I thought you would have understood, would have not understood. That's why I changed the mark your own real life what is associated. Then I am calculating the average. It is giving me 74 also, 75 also. I cannot conclude. Based on this, I cannot say which class is better. I need to go for standard deviation. Understand, guys. This is where I am serious about it. You need to calculate standard deviation. When me fails to explain something to you, you need to go for standard deviation. What is the formula for standard deviation? Xi, what is this? I will explain you. The whole square divided by capital N square root. You need to find out standard deviation. If I am finding standard deviation using this formula for first year MSW, second year, Imagine standard deviation for this class is 4.5. How I have calculated, don't worry. Next, for this class is 5.5. Or 15.5, whatever maybe. Which class is best? Whatever I taught only, I'm asking. Through another analogy. Same kind of analogy only I have taken. Which class is doing best? Standard deviation of first MSW is 4.5, second MSW is 15.5. Which class is best? Talk statistically for this scenario. You need to give first year or second year, that's all. Yeah, someone gives second year. Vishwa gives second year. Shiva gives second year. <coughs> Then, without thinking, you can't understand. See, really to say, hey, this all for first year, we will teach in half an hour engineering. Second year, all are telling second year. Almost four or five answers have come. That's fine. That is absolutely wrong. First year students are better statistically with respect to this scenario. Why? Because... Vishwa changed it to another answer. Why? Because look at standard deviation is 4.5. Standard deviation is 15.5. What is that meaning? Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I'm warning you. This, this is all fundamental. That also you need to capture. But if you are not serious about listening, you can't understand. Here the problem is not your IQ level. You are not listening. That is the thing I understood. Your gadgets only sitting in front of me, not you. Look at here, what will happen is, imagine this is first year MSW, I forget about this. This is second year MSW, first year, second year. How this mean has come 75? Although I am admiring only first year MSW, second year not doing good. I'm telling, declaring second year MSW is not doing good. Then you will question me, how this 75 has come? How it has come is, there are few students have got 100 out of 100. There are very few students, understand? Very few students only have got 100 out of 100. Rest all 40, fail also. 
தேர்ட்டி செவன்டி ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஃபிஃப்டி டூ திஸ் இஸ் வாட் டியர் மார்க் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் இண்டிவிஜுவல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் வித் ஃபஸ்ட் இயர் எம்எஸ் டபிள்யூ இயர்ஸ் ஆல் ஆர் மோர் ஆர் லெஸ் நியர் பை செவன்டி செவன்டி ஃபைவ் தட் இஸ் அ மீனிங் சம் ஆஃப் யூ வுட் ஹவ் காட் எயிட்டி சம் ஆஃப் யூ வுட் ஹவ் ஒன் ஆஃப் யூ வுட் ஹவ் காட் நைன்டி அனதர் கை வுட் ஹவ் காட் செவன்டி அனதர் கை வுட் ஹவ் காட் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி செவன்டி ஃபைவ் அனதர் கை வுட் ஹவ் காட் எயிட்டி டூ அனதர் கை வுட் ஹவ் காட் செவன்டி சிக்ஸ் அனதர் கை வுட் ஹவ் காட் சிக்ஸ்டி எயிட் அனதர் கை வுட் ஹவ் காட் சிக்ஸ்டி அனதர் கை வுட் ஹவ் காட் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபோர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த சினரியோ எவ்வரி ஒன் ஆஃப் யூ பெர்ஃபார்மிங் மோர் ஆர் லெஸ் ஈக்குவலி டூ ஆர்ட் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் மார்க்ஸ் எவ்ரி ஒன்ஸ் கான்ட்ரிபியூஷன் இஸ் பெட்டர் ஹியர் இந்த எம்எஸ் டபிள் தட் இஸ் ஒய் யுவர் ஆவரேஜ் பிகேம் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் வேரஸ் இந்த செகண்ட் இயர் தெர் ஆர் ஃபியூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் மேடம் அது லீட் செய்யண்டி செப்பாங்க மேடம் நீ சொல்லுங்க தெர் ஆர் ஃபியூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹவ் காட் ஹண்ட்ரட் அவுட் ஆஃப் ஹண்ட்ரட் rest all have got very very lesser mark so these people compensated their weakness these all are weakness highly backward students they are not fit for up to the mark but those people's weaknesses are overcome by those four candidates so uh, on and average periphery level it shows that this class is equal to first year class but the scenario is different in the first year every one is equally contributing for the 75 marks nearby with plus or minus 10 difference only people are there that is the reason first year have got 75 that is the reason second year have got 75 but internal variation is explained by standard deviation please understand now this 4.5 shows more or less lesser deviation every one is deviated from the highest mark is just to 4.5 marks whereas in this class the highest deviation is 15.5 so i need to conclude in terms of class performance first year mstw students are doing better than second year mstw this is how statistics helps to conclude which class is better which class is not better if directly mean is different for example first year mean second year mean differently it is coming first year mean is 63 seventh year second year mean is 73 this itself shows what second year is doing better that is fine one question second year is better this students are not better beyond that also one more thing we need to do even in this scenario also i need to calculate standard deviation although it is 63 all the students are near by 60 then that is consistent class better class although it is 73 only four students 100 out of 100 rest all fail students then that doesn't mean that second year students are better directly most of the time you should not conclude with mean you need to conclude with the standard deviation this is a final message i'm giving hope so you would have got it now another scenario i will tell you now you need to answer imagine first year b students second year b students third year b students look at here the scenario which class is doing better i am asking question which class their class average mean mean is 68 75 70 this is mean value then standard deviation statistically it is signified with the sigma standard deviation is let us say for example 3.2 standard deviation is 10 standard deviation is 5.2 
now you need to conclude to me which class is doing better which class class performance entire class which class is doing better give me your answer you will take one and a half an hour given the scenario you need to give the which year that's all these and all need to be given spontaneously four case study i have given yeah first year one answer vinod first year third year yeah third year then any other answer only two three members students please respond to the ma'am first year yeah if you participate only you can understand otherwise you can't understand because while participation only you can think right or wrong you are thinking students please put it in the chat box yeah four five members answered ma'am now that's fine first year now the majority vote has come for first year majority vote has come for first year very few had given for second year something first year majority vote look at for this is first year is the right answer so majority vote i said then immediately everybody sticking to that majority yeah look at here although the class performance is poor say 68 only their class performance but consistency is there every student with 3.2 variation that mark 3 to 5 marks only differing from each other if i call roll number 1 he is he may be telling i have got 60 madam roll number 2 he will be telling i i have got 75 roll number 3 he will tell i have got 64 roll number 4 he will tell 72 so plus or minus at the max 5 that 3.2 shows nearby value i am telling plus or minus 5 mark difference of d every student is having difference with only 5 marks second year what is happening 75 class average is 75 fantastic class with respect to mean second year students only best but with respect to entire class as a teacher i need to consider the entire class i should not be biased so when i consider the entire class the deviation is 10 plus what that mean is 75 may be the mark average if i ask roll number 1 he may be telling 65 roll number 2 he may be telling 85 roll number 3 he may be telling 90 100 then there are few students lesser so although this is the class performance how can i order which class is doing better is first year students next third year students are doing better third year students understand i need to tell second year students are not good performer although their mean value is high although their mean value is high they class wise yes i am a teacher i should not show bias i need to care for the entire class in order to take conclusion which class is doing better first year is doing better because this is not worst mark no decent mark more or less then third year is next better class second year is next better class i will give another scenario now where should i write it? yeah i'll write now same beta you consider b first year b second year b third year i am writing class mean is 52 class mean is 68 class mean is 75 now 3.2 is a standard deviation same 3.2 is a standard deviation next here 10 is a standard deviation this is mean this is standard deviation now tell me which class is best yeah standard deviation equal to low variation variation that is what i mean to say i said the same variation is lesser hmm. 
We know the given answer. Second year is better. Fine. How about others? This is a scenery. Second year. Now, so far, no high voting has come to here. Second year. Second year. Stop this question. Fine. Fantastic. Second year. This is what the best. Look at mean wise also. This class is doing better. Deviation, variation is also lesser. So this class shows that everyone is nearby 60. Nearby 60 or 65 at least. That is indication. Some of them may be above 70, above 80, above 100 also. That is fine. More or less, all are centered towards 60. Centered towards 60. So this class is the best class. Now I ask you, who is the next best? I need to rank them No, Second year is the best class. First best. Who is second best? First year. Now only I'm making you to think. Nobody will teach like this level of understanding. First year. Yeah. Go ahead. I will stop at this point. No first year. Third year only doing best. Because you thought that the standard deviation should be less. It is fixed in your mind. See, although standard deviation is more here, 75 is the best way. Look at them. 10 marks only difference. 10 marks difference means person may get 65, person may get 85 or 100, something like that. That is the major devi deviation difference will come. Look at the first one. That major difference after reducing minus 10 also, what is the least mark comes in the third year class? More or less, at least 60. If not 65, at least 60 will come. Whereas their class, the mark is the least mark. Average itself 52. Then the deviation is 3.2. Then people will be surrounded nearby 52 only. Some people may be more than 50. Some people may be less than 50. That's all. All are related to 50 marks. Then do you think that that class is best? No. Because average is 75. Each and every student mark would be near by 75. The deviation would become plus or minus 10. Variation. That is what the 10. Plus, maybe more also, that is fine. More or less, maybe one or two members only, maybe 100 out of 100 in this class. Because deviation is only 10. Maybe one or two, that also not possible, I'm telling. We need to figure it with numerical. We need to play with numbers. Only then that I can control, not uh, now I can control. Whereas first year, deviation is lesser than every student tend to get near by 50 marks only. One guy may be 45, another guy may be 42, another guy may be 65. That's all. The highest mark would be 65 only, not more than that. Whereas in this class, the lowest mark itself 60, 65. Then which class would be doing next better? Third. Second year, the first best. Third year is the next best class. First year is the least performing class. This is so statistics helps for understanding or analyzing. That's all. Hope so. You would be thorough and believing that at least a couple of students, not all. I cannot guarantee for other students, those who have not taken part. <clears throat> now look at another scenario. Coefficient of variation. One more scenario will come. This is not in your syllabus, but you should understand mean and median, how it fails. By the time, sometimes only you can go for standard deviation, not all the time. By the time, you need to go for even, yeah, for this also, you can use standard deviation, I guess. See, don't worry about um, the name of the player, Dravid or Sheva Gandal, just for uh, namesake we have taken. These are all the runs 
taken by this guy shiva this run although this guy have got 230 runs look at here one very worst performance this person have done look at if you calculate mean it shows same if you calculate median it shows same this also more of a standard deviation purpose only coefficient of variation when you use this formula standard deviation divided by mean we are applying standard deviation into next level then 24% variation 84% what is the meaning is the second person shiva have done in his history the worst player also he became the best player also he became lot of deviations whereas dravid he is an average player but consistency is there all the time he will be doing more or less better say the very worst performance of his player is only 50 whereas look at this guy very worst performance is one we who is better who you will prefer the consistent player you will prefer or this guy you will prefer he, he, he is much better than double the time better than this guy 230 runs 240 i'll see 240 also he have got that's fantastic but the same yeah 300 look at here 300 also he have got but at the same time opposite dead opposite you have get one also you need to take decision you can't simply uh, hire the person for uh, your game or forming a team statistics also plays a role really i'm telling in the gamification world lot of statistics online game also real time games also team formation scientifically people will do interview they will conduct they will check the confidence level they will look at their past history only then people can get into the team it is not so easy especially world level competition world cup people are doing that don't think that uh, simply watching making fun of a winning success and all these many mathematics goes behind of it what is the highest uh, run what is the least run what is the variation they will compare among 25 player old players also new player also they will apply no they will apply for uh, the team formation no then lot of interview they will do lot of analysis they will do after that only they will take decision got the point how the statistics helps so this is the way even cricket world is working you think that cricket world is fun no internally it has lot of science for periphery you will be looking at the fun match that's all so next uh, these are all uh, little bit advanced this is uh, a bit difficult for you to cope up now we need to i would be taking 5 to 10 minutes of break then i would continue with the standard deviation mean calculation using uh, excel how to calculate standard deviation using excel that's it with that we can proceed further i'm going to mute both the video and audio for another 10 minutes 10 minutes break yeah standard deviation let us take salary now we will change the scenario so that you will understand much better salary mark also you may feel bored how salary is influential this is employee number let us yeah employee number 1 2 3 like that we will call no salary let us take now another group maybe one more group dear two college or two office they are giving salary so which company is giving same kind of employee let us imagine if uh, the employee engineer 
uh, arts, science, all we club together, no, it will be confusion. Let us consider all the employees of more or less same uh, qualification, more or less same uh, experience. Somehow, based on the other trades, they are fixing the salary. Let us imagine. In that scenario, what to be done? Employee number one, two. How I am? See, in front of you, I am generating data. Similarly, I copy paste this company employee, not necessarily to have equal number of uh, employee because look at standard deviation mean leveraging. If always we are doing divided by n. If you would have noticed the formula divided by n, it doesn't matter. See, for example, MSW students may be 30, first year, second year may be 60. Don't worry about size of the class. That question you would have asked. You haven't asked. Now, hope so you will understand. It doesn't matter. First year students, how many are there? Second year students, how many are there? It doesn't matter for statistics. Because always we are doing divided by n. So it will naturally equalize. Equalization is possible. Now let us consider the salary. First employee is getting salary 2000 per day if you feel so awkward understand per day some of we need to understand statistics next person is getting 1500 next person is getting 2500 next person is getting 1000 next person is getting 4000 next person is getting 1400 next person is getting 2800 next person is getting 4200 next person is getting 5000 next person is getting 750 understand there are a lot of uh, story in it let us understand statistics through example here let me calculate a little bit later first you need to do uh, summation sum of this all equal to sum of this is available m3 m3 see selecting plus there m12 m12 yes perfectly it is allocated M12, sorry, M3 to M12, or, uh, sorry, I did a wrong, M3 colon, I did a plus colon. Now, see, look at here, the moment I touch upon this formula, it is showing, perfectly it is calculated, sum. Average is, this is called sum. Next, how to calculate mean, mean or average, same word only. How to calculate is, this cell, the, here itself I can calculate, but you should know step by step. This is equal to M13, M13 selected, divided by how many employee? 10 employee. Average salary of this company is, please be very careful. Here interpretation, Shiva pay your attention. For your question, there is no direct answer. You will understand through this. Sum is this mean is the sum number it will be helpful don't worry about sum useless for us mean is 2515 okay imagine this company gives 2515 salary somebody is telling average salary is 2515 then you are thinking that per day 2515 fine let me go and join they may be fixing 2000 rupees for you is it justifiable tell me see i am telling plus please listen the scenario in this company all are having same quality more or less same quality more or less not too much of difference, more or less, same qualification, same year, uh, more or less same years of experience or more years of experience, more salary they may get. That let us fix. You, somebody is telling to you, this company gives you the average salary of 2,515. So since average salary is 2,515, they are going to fix you something like that, 1,750, very lesser difference only now 1750 do you think that they are doing justice they don't show the entire salary only average salary only they will show you do you think that they are doing justice because look at the data highest salary is 5000 they are paying poorly to you then 
how to take decision whether that average salary is reliable or not you need to take decision based on standard deviation now i will teach you two different way calculating standard deviation one method is step by step method another method is direct formula now i will calculate equal to standard deviation see look at standard deviation i didn't pass the data no standard deviation what is this std dev std dev standard deviation of whom to whom m3 colon m12 yeah choosing correctly m3 colon look at how much variation they are showing 1462 variation they are showing so the moment average salary is informed by someone don't depend don't trust you need to look at standard deviation if the standard deviation is huge look at your salary now what is that meaning significance is they are cheating you how much they are cheating you more or less 1500 rupees they are cheating you more or less and tell you suppose if they are giving next scenario this is cheating scenario another scenario i'll tell this is your salary sorry this is your salary i am fixing a salary for you in this scenario this is standard deviation this is standard deviation based on this you are taking decision next i am giving salary to one more person 4000 now what is the meaning profit how much profit compare look at this this is minus side this is plus side again standard deviation i am copy some other value then paste special i need to go values i need to go only then same i will get because it is calculated i will come to excel later so look at here this is another scenario both end it will work standard deviation not only for one end positive end negative end also will work what is the significance is in this company lot of variations they are showing because they may be their own relative or they would have impressed something they may be having high skill that is different story but variation is huge look at this company i am going to give 2500 2800 3000 2000 let us calculate the same how the summation is going to be done equal to sum of p32 p3 colon p12 yes select now we need to calculate mean how i need to calculate is equal to p13 divided by 10 it can be anything no need to 10 see this is the mean value 200 same look at mean value more or less same look at but how the difference let us see now let us calculate standard deviation std d v i need to put equal to otherwise it will become text standard deviation of p2 p2 sorry p3 p3 colon p12 look at standard deviation how lesser they are maintaining consistency look at the data common sense through itself you can understand but here not a uh, through common sense with little data we are understanding the statistics this is applicable for 1 lakh data also it will tell us the deviation look at here very lesser deviation 
three hundred rupees. Let it be. If they give less for me also, more for me also, I no need to worry. Here, this guy can jump, celebrate. Just four thousand rupees salary. Here, thousand seven fifty. Cheated. Here, no cheating. For you, I may fix two thousand three hundred. See, within this range, I fix anything. No cheating. Even I can fix thousand six hundred also. No cheating because more or less the deviation among all the employees are after all four hundred rupees difference. After all four hundred rupees. I am treating all employees equally. I am not showing any bias. In this company, look at how they are doing. They are cheating. High variation. Reason may be anything. That let us not worry. Look at the data. Appoint giving five thousand rupees may be different story. That extraordinary attitude, skills that person may be having, or that person may be relative to managing director. That may be that. Uh, not, not, let us not worry. Look at the statistical part. Hope so. You may be understanding this scenario based on this only. I was explaining all those scenarios. Now this is for ready-made calculation. How to do standard deviation? Step-by-step -step calculation. How to do? Let us see. Because your formula is what? Square root of x i minus. Sorry, not a superscript. One minute. Square root of subscript. x i minus mu divided by n that's all for this this mean look at this mean this mean this we have calculated already we know what is mu in this case mu is 2100 515 in this case this one by one only we can calculate now n is what 10 because 10 employee fixed i have taken for both scenario so n is 10 what is left out this portion calculation is left out sorry i haven't include square also xi minus mu the whole square i didn't do that is only the part i am not doing good so now we need to calculate same standard deviation how i am arriving step by step that is what the discussion let us move forward for that i need to copy because several thing i need to do what are all the thing see xi minus mu lot of stuff i need to do so i'm just inserting one minute that is fine two cells are sufficient so i just copy pasted this now mean is available 200 15 now i need to calculate what is xi you will ask question now that i need to clarify what is xi is so look at this is x1 this is x2 i is what is sample number row number first record second record third record and so on this is x4 this is x5 this is x6 x7 x8 x9 x10 that's all now i need to calculate here xi minus mu next cell i need to calculate square that's all so next let us calculate once again i will write the formula don't worry now here xi minus mu insert i can go to insert symbols one minute here it is obstacle uh, zoom symbol mu where is mu yeah one mu is available that's it xi minus mu this xi also i can do suffix home i can do suffix yeah i need to search for that let it be xi minus mu what is the second one xi minus mu the whole square the same i copy paste next whole i need to put cap symbol maximum we will use this 
Now look at how I am calculating. Look at the mean. We can refer this cell or we can use this number also. Anything we can do. 2515. I need to calculate equal to, look at carefully, 2515 minus H3. H3. Anything you can do. You can do um, H3 minus 2515 or you can do 2515 minus H3 because we are going to square it. That value, negative value is not going to affect us. That is the reason mathematics plays a role with the squaring. Now see, 2515, I, I copied this cell only. The same I am doing. So next, just plus button, crush. That's all. So all the values we have calculated. The deviations. How much deviation? Look at here. 1115 deviation minus 1485. That much amount I am showing deviation. Look at here. 2485 rupees I am showing deviation. Now square. What I supposed to do is equal to I3 into I3. That's all. Square it became i3 into i3 xi minus mu the whole square done square <coughs> summation i need to do summation summation of this one minute why this huge difference not at all yeah yeah uh, the whole square see look at it some other data i have brought it is there square this 30 square 998 similarly here also the square comes nothing to it yeah next to what we need to do sum of these all we need to do sum of these all xi minus mu we did it square we did it after that we need to do i will write down now the formula you can understand sum of xi minus mu the whole square or sorry this also whole square square root of this divided by n this is what the formula let us try now we need to go for summation this summation then we need to take square root after division by n we need to take square root uh, is equal to sum of j3 colon j12 Next, what we need to do? Divided by equal to J13 divided by 10. Fine. Next, what we need to do? Square root equal to SQRT of, I will give you this sheet also. Don't worry. J14. J14. Look at more or less we have got 1387, 1462. There is a difference. This much difference should not come. Mm. This is ready-made function. This is what were calculated value. One minute. Let me check the formula and what is the way. Formula, I would have done mistake also. I am just referring the formula. Wait a minute. 1 by xi minus mu i the whole square then summation then divided by n then square root yeah i am doing correct only xi minus mu i one minute yeah this is xi minus mu i look at the formula it is available the similar way one divided by n then xi minus mu the whole square Every time we need to find out the difference and we need to do whole square. Then we need to do summation after that divided by n. Then it is come. That's fine. But why this huge difference I cannot understand. This is ready-made function. This is step-by-step -step calculation. Xi minus mu. Next to what we are calculating. Xi minus mu the difference. Mu is 200 and 505. Yeah. 2505 minus H. This cell only we are finding out the difference. In order to avoid this cancellation, what is cancellation is plus minus will cancel each other. That is the reason we are going for squaring. So 515 into 515. Squaring. Perfect square only the formula says. Squaring, squaring is happening. Squaring. 
So after this querying, we need to do summation. Sum of J3 to J12. Fine. Next, what we are doing? Um, we need to divide. After summation only, we need to divide. So J13 divided by 10. This is the value. Then what we are doing? Square root of J14. That is a standard deviation. So manual calculation leads to this much difference. Ready-made calculation leads to this one. Even if you are using calculator, then that will lead to a little more difference. Let us look into this standard deviation. Standard deviation P3 to P12. Now let us calculate here. Now Xi minus the same steps. Let us try here for this data. Let us see. Now what is the mean is equal to 2292 minus P3. That's all. 208. It doesn't matter. Now we need to do square is equal to Q3 into Q3. Enter. So this is what square root, square value. After that we need to do summation is equal to sum of P3, R3. Yeah. R3 colon R12. Enter. This is what. Now we need to find out standard deviation. For that equal to us uh, divided by 10. Now R13 divided by 10. Next step. Now we are going to calculate standard deviation. SQRT of R13. No. R14. R14. 364. See look at. There is little bit of change in the value it is always uh, it will happen this is a ready-made function this is hand calculation similarly here this is hand calculation this is your ready-made standard deviation so there are two different way to calculate standard deviation one is you can use ready-made function std ev another one is you can go for step-by-step -step manual calculation that's all uh, now that scenario I have forgotten. Shiva, could you able to understand right now? After this all calculations or comparative study, two different salary employee. Yes, ma'am. But uh, something the more different between the last example, ma'am. 75 and 10 different variations, ma'am. But 58, 5.5. One minute. What I have written? 68, uh, first one. This yeah, no, second, year, second year is 68, ma'am. No. First year, second year, third year, ma'am. Yeah, first year yeah. I have written no. 68. 50, 52, 50. ma'am. Okay. Second year, 68, ma'am. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 52. Yeah, that's what. 52, 68, 75. Yeah. Am I right? This is mean yes, value. Yes, yes, Next, standard deviation. Standard this deviation is 3.5. Yeah. 3.2. Uh, something, 3.5. Yeah, that's fine. 3.5. Mm. Then this also 3.5. 3.5 here 10. 10 yeah. yeah, got it. Now I will yeah, count. 70 is 10. Mm. This is yes, standard deviation. Now look yes, at here. This is mean value. This is yes, standard deviation. Yes, mean value, if you look at this, seems to be good. Yes, ma'am. Extraordinary. This is second yes, good. This is yes, third good. That's yes, fine. Now standard deviation, if you look at this seems to be good because lowest standard deviation. This seems to be also good because more or less same only. Na? Let me give change to but this is the worst. Yes, but how I am taking conclusion? I need to look at both mean and standard deviation. If you look at in this class, look at this data salary also mark also same. In this class, more or less every student deviation is only near by 5. No, not exactly yeah. 3.5. See, your uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, standard deviation is this. Okay? Yes, but salary goes here, say, 5,000. Yes, it is possible. One or two, one, this is an average variation. So, one or two will go high. That one or two, no problem. Or one or two go worst. See, in this class, one may be 100 out of 100, one may be zero. 
yes ma'am possible yes ma'am. but that's fine only one student may be like that rest all what will happen no more or less they will be between 55, 55. to 75 yes ma'am these students see look at it. the worst mark itself 55 whereas the class yes, average is 52 you yes, got the idea now come yes, to this scenario 75 75 also in, in this class also 100 or zero is case will be available one or two but yes, most ma'am. of the students will have lot of deviation that means many students will fail 20 mark 30 mark also they will get many students would be performing 90 95 equally these two look at this high variation salary very poor salary also failed 750 next to poor salary is 1400 <laughs> high salary is 5000 high salary look at 5000 next to the best salary is 4200 all of variations available look at here where slightly only i changed it so that the standard deviation is very less here standard deviation is more look at this why the standard deviation is huge is many students deviations are more mixed category so that i need to declare this as the best class 75 68 is no big difference no after all seven mark difference now but the consistency is there more students are near by 68 here yes. very few students are or half of the class only near by 75 rest all we cannot understand they may be too low also definitely too low will be there very few too high so that deviation is 20 another scenario also will tell 75 let us keep now 20 what is the meaning tell me this 75 20 means many students are poor mark very few, extreme students are available half of the students are high performing 75 100 80 90 half of the students are the worst performer next i am increasing the standard although 75 look at understand i am increasing standard deviation to 30 useless there may be students many students having zero many students having 100 that is the indication although class average is 75 students are not uh, more or less equal performer if all uh, beyond 30 and all we can't go <laughs> it is too much even 30 itself too much i guess 20 is the best value standard deviation is few 20 it only more and more standard deviation that shows varied student two polarity there are students high mark scorer there are students very worst performer deviation is more means students are varying in nature deviation is less means students are more or less packed towards that mean value more or less packed i am telling more or less understand not only positive so if you look at the consistency point of view 52 class is also consistent 68 class is also consistent consistency is better both are same but which is performing better 68 because 52 mark is more here 68 is more mark that's all although uh, class 3 is doing 75 mean value variation is lot some students are doing much better some students are not at all doing better uh, what is the use of the, that class got the idea now so yes, look at here now. in this company if i am share if i am joining listen another scenario i want to join this company a this is company b i am applying for the post so here what i should do here what i should do human life decision making i need to look at mean i need to look at standard deviation lot of variation is there then what is the meaning is definitely i should demand the salary 5115 but because this salary is paid by the company very visibly seen what else i can do is i can add the standard deviation value 4462 why this complication see almost 2500 is the mean value what is my standard deviation is telling is 1500 i should be bold enough to go and demand this salary 0 5 see i am demanding 
this is the highest salary paid in this company could you able to understand how i am doing got the idea here what i supposed to do mean value 200 and 290 let us say for example 290 what is a 2390 is a standard deviation i need to demand here 0 8 1 3 6 1 3 3680 i am demanding see look at the highest salary paid is 3000 more or less i am gaining for the highest salary paid in this office if i come to know these two alone standard deviation and mean how should i demand my salary salary point of view this is how we need to quote 2500 see here 100 rupees i have increased because your mean value is 4000 and yeah only 40 rupees only increased here 140 i increased sorry 140 I increased so 280 i need to reduce exactly to say here 4420 rupees i can quote for this company i should quote if i am clever statistically well known person here in this company if i am applying i need to quote this salary because it is possible by that company they are paying in that range got the idea how we need to relate mean and standard deviation plus side minus side it will deviate because salary we are expecting more no more earning we want so i need to add if it is negative scenario imagine you you are uh, uh, calculated your negativity your negative score i want to ask for something decision making by the time you should not do addition how you should do 2500 5500 minus 1500 you should so show your negativity lesser so 1500 points only i am weak that time you need to go this end negativity if i am approaching yeah so, yeah, that is okay. Yeah, approximately, I am trying to tell operation. Fine, thank you. Thousand. Approximately, you should go and say, uh, I am having only thousand weak points. That's all. Salary, you need to maximize. For negativity, you need to minimize. That's all. Got the idea? Now, how yes, I am doing? Yeah. One minute. Searching for subscript superscript. X word I can do here where I should go. That's it. Okay, now that's fine. This Excel sheet also I can share with you. Today we are done with mean, mode, median, coefficient of variation, and standard deviation. Next, today itself I want to discuss correlation. Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all, all we can learn in one day. That is not a big challenge correlation pearson correlation we are going to calculate and we are going to learn that because these all you need to understand only then i can explain t test anova that a chi square test these three are <coughs> bit tougher bit tougher that's all not too tough correlation is next what is the meaning of correlation i will that formula if i show you you will be afraid let us not worry about formula Look at here, temperature. Temperature means uh, daily temperature uh, we are seeing now. Uh, what is uh, here the lowest temperature to Hyderabad is uh, today, 14 degrees Celsius. Tamil Nadu, definitely not 14, especially your Madurai, Trichy zone, boiling area of Tamil Nadu, Trichy. If you look at your weather report, the lowest temperature at Trichy would become 28 in the night daytime it would become uh, maybe 40 i guess or 35 here the highest temperature is 29 during december season so what i am going to tell through this try to understand ice cream sale imagine i am running an ice cream parlor ice cream uh, shop parlor something so temperature is 50 temperature is 52 50 and all people cannot live so 46 45 40 30 then it can be in any order 
I am just for my convenience. I am writing like this. You can put zigzag also. Forty six or all of a sudden you can put thirty. You can put fifty. That is not a matter. Please be very clear. Next, I am reducing temperature. Twenty two. Daytime Hyderabad rain plus uh, December month it is going twenty two also. Daytime at the worst case not twenty four maybe twenty four. Next twenty. Maybe in North India, let us imagine. North India it is going less than twenty in the daytime. Night it is going almost less than fifteen. So the next thirty six, thirty two. What I mean to say, ice cream sale, how it would be? More the temperature, quantity, number of uh, pieces sold out today, or price profit. Anything you can do. Now ice cream sale count only. I am going to calculate because I need to refill my stock. I need to order or I need to uh, prepare ice creams. If I prepare too much, also it will become waste. If I prepare lesser, also I'm losing customers. I need to predict. So what I'm going to do here? Just I'm going to fill ice cream count. Forty-six is highest temperature. Then it doesn't matter. Next to one degree uh, lesser, also six hundred count may be selling. Forty temperature definitely not that much. Maybe four hundred. Next to thirty, definitely people will not buy. Thirty degrees Celsius central, people will feel bit afraid of eating ice cream. Then twenty, definitely not. Then twenty, very extraordinary people may eat uh, ice cream. Twenty degree Celsius, thirty-six, good amount. Thirty degree, thirty-two degree Celsius, people may eat three hundred. That's all. Now ready. What is correlation? Association between two different variables. Here, the variable one is called temperature. Variable two is called ice cream count. These two variable association analysis. How it is associated? Positive correlation, no correlation, negative correlation. I will write under. Hope so you can understand. positive correlation because formula functions are there we need to interpret we need to write a report we are not going to apply formula step by step like how i did standard deviation it is not recorded also positive and no correlation and negative correlation normally Correlation value, Pearson correlation, as per your syllabus. Correlation values. How it will be is zero to one. Sorry, minus one to one. This is a correlation value. This is this end minimum value. This is maximum value. This is the value you will obtain. This is a range of correlation value. Now. positive correlation means near one near one if you are getting positive no correlation means near zero not exactly zero near zero also uh, no sorry zero means no correlation poor correlation again there are several category strong correlation weak correlation poor correlation then another category next negative correlation near minus one these all are called types of correlation now let us find out correlation between this and this is equal to look at carefully i can find anywhere is equal to correlation correl c o r r e l it is giving me function i need to use here c o r r e l correl of whom to whom i need to find out g phi G five. Look at it is selecting colon G twelve comma this guy and that guy. I need to do correlation association. Next H two sorry H five H five colon H twelve. The same na enter. Look at strong positive correlation. Strong near one. Point nine six. Understand. Near one. 
point nine six strong positive correlation. This is a scenario for correlation analysis. You need to tell me the real life scenario where is strong positive correlation will come. One more you need to tell scenario. Audio is permitted and the chat window. Strong positive correlation. I said now temperature ice cream sale. Like that you should tell me. Scenario for positive correlation. Come on guys. When I say example, you, your brain should think in the end direction. Students, please respond. You can use chat window or you can use um, audio note, anything. Scenario I am asking, taking two different variables, like this, I have taken one variable temperature, your real life only I have taken. Another uh, variable, ice cream sale. More and more the temperature, ice cream sale would be more and more. So this, our own lifestyle scenario I have taken. After that, I used the function coral in the Excel. So it is giving 0 0.96. 0 0.96 means what? Near one, highest correlation. 0 0.9 itself highest, it is 0 0.96. So it is strong positive correlation. What is the answer I should write for this? Is strong positive correlation. This is the association ship. This is the relationship between these two people. This is called association analysis. Most of the time correlation analysis will be useful. We can't tell which is useful depending upon the domain for which you are working, depending upon what to say, the problem statement. Yeah, one answer after a long time. Rain season and a tea sale. Oh, very good. Nice. Rain season and a tea sale. Rain season and umbrella. This I was keeping in my mind. That is fine. Both are same. This also related to high correlation. T shop simply he changed the opposite direction. Low temperature he have thought of. Then instead of ice cream, he thought of some hot item. Tea. That's good. Fantastic. So another scenario, rainfall. Rainfall you can consider or rainy season you can consider. Next, T sale. Fine. At least you could able to think in this level. That's fine. Next, I'm going to tell you another scenario you need to tell me whether that is positive or negative correlation understand very carefully now i am going to tell wait ah, another scenario no correlation also consider all the three scenarios you need to tell me what scenario this suits better this one i am going to give the scenario i am telling that Weight and mark of the person. Weight, body weight. Body weight and mark of the person. Marks. I'm going to calculate your 25 students' weight. Okay. I'm going to record your mark. What relationship will come? Tell me. In your class also. You imagine, visualize. Weight of the person, mark of the person. Your body weight. What relation? Probably you can expect. Come on, make it fast. Body weight of the person, mark of the person. That's all I'm telling you. Negative. Why negative? What is the meaning? More and more weight person, they will get lesser and lesser mark. Look at there are people, more fatty people also... Uh, Genius. Weight, fat, fatness. Weight of the person and mark of the person. What relationship? 
what is the meaning negative is the person is more fat he will get less mark negative correlation i once again you are telling yeah padmini only right no correlation guys i used to be overweight during my be i did my be 94 98 those days itself i was uh, 68 kg now 44 years old i am now also now also i am maintaining the same kg 65 but during my 8th 9th standard 10th standard also i was 68 the same i am maintaining now also overweight i used to be the class topper if you say negative correlation what is the meaning is more weight don't study they will be zero useless people who are telling in my class i am the fatty person but i am the topper got the idea why i am telling my own story most of my classmates used to make fun of me because of my fattiness 10th standard i used to be 68 kg imagine you can't even imagine now i am 44 years old till date i am maintaining the same weight luckily for this age my weight is good so what you are concluding is the fatty person there is one more section you see when i was doing lavanya one girl she will be doubler than me she also used to study well maybe within top 5 rank she used to get and if you say negative correlation it shows that more fatty they don't study well if you say positive correlation what is the meaning everyone should sit and eat this much bowl full eating only you will become getting good marks you mean to say not at all no correlation maybe rare circumstances depending upon weight of the person mark may be increased that is very rare circumstances yes ma'am okay yes ma'am now <clears throat> got the point what i mean to say no correlation in this scenario you should say no correlation next i am trying to tell one more analogy see i am telling smoking number of cigarettes lung capacity i am calculating inhalation capacity inhalation capacity medically i am calculating what is this scenario what relation association would exist smoking number of cigarettes per day by 100 students entire your class or entire one community anywhere i am calculating every person i am asking how many cigarettes you will smoke per day i am recording they may say zero also they may say 10 also 5 also 100 also that is uh, another matter it is not our worry we need to record your class smoking habit including my smoking habit then i am going to measure medically lung capacity what association you are expecting for that you want one cigarette to smoke a huh? <coughs> what is association <coughs> make it fast guy irritating really how many times we need to discuss then Four, five scenarios over. Yeah, positive correlation. More and more cigarette consumption. No, no positive. See, understand. Lung capacity will go down. <coughs> more and more cigarette consumption leads to poor lung capacity. <coughs> Another scenario also I will tell for this. it is depending upon the contest lesser and lesser no more and more this is only negative correlation negative correlation imagine when we will ask for uh, smoking and all something going wrong only this is negative <coughs> always negative always negative because lungs capacity goes down understand 200 pulse per second 
or inhalation power per second something i'm telling then what would happen more consumption that the people does lesser lungs capacity another scenario alcohol <coughs> what is the spelling also i don't know all alcohol alcohol consumption milligram <coughs> or liter how many how many milliliter then liver capacity this also negative correlation more and more, more my milliliter consumption my liver functioning quality will be going down so negative correlation one more scenario i tell days this one you need to tell days of fasting i am taking every one of you i am asking irrespective of your religion i am asking per month how many days you would be fasting here a uh, roll number is not important that answer that variable only important for example i am asking roll number 1 that person is telling 5 days per month i will fast roll number 2 0 days i will fast roll number 3 2 days i will fast something like that now weight body weight what is the relationship number of days fasting and weight what is the correlation will you are expecting no correlation <laughs> Oh my God! Negative correlation. See here, increase means increase. Understand the scenario. Here, increase means increase is positive. Here, increasing, yeah, more fasting, lesser weight. This one variable is increasing. Another variable is reducing. This is negative correlation. One variable is increasing. Another variable is also increasing. That is positive correlation. No correlation. Other case. that there would be no correlation at all now i am telling another scenario <clears throat> food in kg how many kg you are eating and weight <clears throat> what is the correlation you are eating half kg per time or 3 kg per day whatever food in kg and your weight Food in kg and your weight, body weight. Tell me, what will happen? Positive correlation. Excellent. If you eat more, body weight will go more. This increase. This also increases. Positive. Hope so. You would have understood. One variable is any one variable. Now let us write. From this, we are going to conclude. variable 1 two variable only we can compare not more than that if you have several variable one by one only you can compare variable 2 what is positive correlation variable 1 and variable 2 so what is the meaning increase one increase another one also will increase that is positive no correlation there is no relationship at all that is a meaning no correlation one is increasing another one would be decreasing got the idea now hope so you all would be understanding initially if i say none of you can understand now after this many analysis if i write this mantra this is like a mantra correlation mantra could you get my point that's all now one increase one increase this is positive positive only matter strongly little that and all later say again lot of category now i will tell now you need to answer few more stuff let us find the almost to we are uh, here for more than 2 hours 30 minutes now look at correlation value correlation value you need to tell me what type what nature it is 
I am writing 0 0.5. What type of relation? <clears throat> Not only positive, you need to give, give adjective. What is adjective? Poor, strong, um, moderately, not average, you should tell. These are the three words. Poor, very poor, moderately, strong, too strong, like that only words are available with the correlation. No point five. what is the correlation? You can use audio or you can give chat. Shiva, you are telling poor, no. It is moderate. This is moderate. Fine. Now I am going to tell one more. Point two. What is this? Then you need to tell what is this? Positive. This also positive. Next. What is this? Point two. Poor. Good. Poor. Very good. That's fine. Poor correlation. Yeah. Fine. Now I'm going to write minus 0 0.7. What is this? <clears throat> Both what you should tell. What is this? What is this? Very poor. <laughs> no. Not very poor. This is strong negative correlation. Strong negative correlation. Very good. Yeah. You also have come out with strong negative correlation. Now, <clears throat> minus 0 0.3. Tell me. Only one more case. Minus very poor. Five. Poor. Negative correlation. Now one more I will give you. What I can give? Poor, poor, moderate. Yeah, here I will get. 0 0.8. Very good. Very strong negative correlation. Yeah. 0 0.8. This is how you need to write a report. Simple way I can make you to understand. Correlation spectrum is available. Wait, I will show. But initially I show you, you won't think. <clears throat> Come on, make it fast. 0 0.08. Yeah, strong positive, that's all. That's all. What is the function you are using in Excel? Coral. That's all. Nothing more. If I don't put equal to, it is treating it as English. If I put equal to, it becomes a formula. Fine, fantastic. I'll show you right in front of you. I am saving this. Stop. <clears throat> Look at here. Correlation spectrum image. What is this? Pearson correlation. <clears throat> I was having one fantastic uh, picture. I don't know where I got. All right now it is not available. So this is what a correlation coefficient. <laughs> Look at the formula. Summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of summation of x minus x bar the whole square into square root of y minus y bar the whole square. This is the formula. Internally it works. Actually, there is one uh, beautiful picture.
picture. Maybe I would have got it from LinkedIn or somewhere. And plot wise, through plot, how you can understand? Look at here. This is Wikipedia. See, a linear relationship. If you if you plot, it will be in this one point eight, little bit away. Point four, zero, no correlation, scatter, minus four. What is the meaning is? Look at here. This is a straight line. It should take. This is mandatory. Only straight line. Correlation is only straight line. So here, <coughs> every point is deviated. The original line is here. It is deviated. Original line is here. <coughs> Sparsely scattered. Here no line is formed at all. Direction is changed. Direction is changed. Look at here. Negative direction orientation. Direction is different. No correlation horizontal and the positive correlation this then no correlation this shapes also it will take visual plot if you are doing you can able to understand we do uh, most of the time visual plot also in our studies or in our understanding we used to do visual plot also we could able to take decision quickly based on these all. Uh, one minute correlation values I need to put I think so based on values how one spectrum would be there that uh, easily it will explain somewhere I have seen I am collector but which material I am keeping also I don't know I need to search for some time they will tell very clearly coefficient value interpretation let us put Look at here. Uh, with that, one more, much more beautiful I have seen. I am not at all able to get it. See, look at here. Hope so, you will understand now. Initially, if I show, you may not able to understand. Oh my God. Look at minus one. Uh, I will put off maybe. Minus one. Perfectly negative correlation. Minus 0.8, strongly negative. Next, minus 0.5, moderately. Minus 0.2, weakly. Zero, no association. 0.2, weakly positive. 0.5, moderately positive. 0.8, strongly positive. One, perfectly positive. Perfectly negative. These are all the words. Anything you can use. Poor correlation also. No need to tell. Poor correlation. Instead, you can write poor. Here, you can write instead strong negative correlation. Here, you can write a strong positive correlation. That's all. So, especially, you will be working for counseling field. That's why I said smoking, lung capacity, alcohol consumption, liver capacity and all. <clears throat> so, hope so. I believe that you would have understood this all. Now, tomorrow agenda, one hour. Excel, I think Kanansa would be addressing for first one hour. Next to one hour, I'll be continuing. So, I don't know. Word, PowerPoint only I need to address. That will take uh, maybe half an hour, half an hour or uh, 45 minutes, 45 minutes. Then subsequently, we'll be going.